that's not what I wanted to say. It's the foundational message. Like, what is the root of this? Bottom of the deck. The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups and her milkshake. After I did that little shuffle, Seven of Swords at the top, are you trying to like, are you trying to cheat? Like the game of life? And not serve society? Hmm. Or someone else. Maybe it's not even yours, like, leave that. It just was the opening message. I haven't technically pulled any cards yet. That could be different. Someone pulled up on you, or you pulled up on someone, and they were like, yeah. Real slimy vibes, like, yeah, like, even the banana and belly. Like, slimy, disgusting vibes, like, yeah. Like, either someone pulled up on you like that, or you know that you, like, were looking at a relationship, a choice. Forget the relationship. It could be a lover, but a choice. And you knew that you were going to benefit, but you were going to be slimy, or someone was intentionally being slimy to you, even though they were going to benefit from the choice that they were making. I think behind all of this is a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. How do you like Cancer? This card is ruled by Cancer. Now, for everyone else, let's pivot at 1037 on the clock. One and three is four. Four and seven, eleven. There we go. Just this card. Moving on, because the rest of the people need a reading. Whoever needs that reading, you're welcome. But for everyone else, you're going to get your justice and get a reading as well. So I'm going to clear these cards. How about that? That felt good. It's the laundry lo-fi. How y'all feeling? How about we get a little bit of both? I grabbed the deck, the strength card lagged behind. But I'm not gonna start with that card. It's so interesting that that card lagged behind. Because I intentionally looked up one card earlier, y'all. You gotta hear this. And it was the Justice card. I'll read it to you, in fact. I'm using the Ghost Tarot today. Ooh. This was really interesting that this came out, or lagged, rather. The Justice card is 11 and it reads, Justice, fairness and firmness. Justice is not only for one, but for all. It is not at the service of man, but rather man must serve justice. Without balance, fairness, and equality, the only law would be that of strength. And that was lagged behind. The Justice card was on top. What are the chances that the strength card is at the bottom? Like I looked for the card, spent time with it, and then read this. And the strength card was on the bottom. I'll repeat. Without balance, fairness, and equality, the only law would be that of strength. Justice, even when imperfect, is the foundation of human society. After I did that little shuffle, Seven of Swords at the top. Are you trying to like, are you trying to cheat? Like the game of life? And not serve society? Hmm. Or someone else. Maybe it's not even yours, like, leave that. It just was the opening message. I haven't technically pulled any cards yet. That could be different. I'm not gonna tell any animal they have to be a civilian. If you wanna go into your human nature and use strength, that's okay. It is out of society though, so perhaps karma will, ooh, catch you and then the justice is, you become a victim of the justice system. I'm gonna leave it there.
I said, I said for that message, but careful, animal. So I dreamt about pulling these cards in this way. We're gonna pull the cards in sequential order. Seven of Swords out again. So first, what comes next? The Lovers, seven, six. The Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands, five cards. And Temperance. Bottom of the deck is the overall, that's not what I wanted to say. It's the foundational message. Like what is the root of this bottom of the deck? The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups and her milkshake. I didn't have an intention for that card. I'm gonna put it back. It's the Seven of Pentacles is beautiful in this deck, actually. I didn't have any intentions. I actually didn't mean to pull it in, so I'm gonna trust that. Now the next card is the overarching energy. Meaning, it's the purpose bottom of the deck six of pentacles this is a, a ooh, even the screeching okay listen this is an apology i feel like just going back to that quick message you should apologize. Like, even if you're about to FaceTime, you need to apologize to the people that this affects. The lover that it seems like... Ooh. Okay, look. Look at how the cards look. So interesting. It seems like you have a lover. This is Queen of Pentacles. So Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy invested in this love affair that you have and it's like you the whole time knew that you were just gonna like take what you could and dip and perhaps like you are going to face time for something i'm really seeing that look there's like guards i can't i gotta stop fronting now like there's guards so you can't go in and out with the nine wands and then the temperance card is like, it's really like God, like, let me, let me, let me baptize you again. <laughs> let me baptize you again. And I think the apology is necessary. Like perhaps I use the ghost tarot, you know, intentionally. Perhaps you need to like apologize for something. I have other messages that I'm like <laughs> biting my lips, but I, I actually, let me pull a card and see if I should. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. It's like God chin check me, like toughen up and say what you have to say. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like you, Queen of Cups at the bottom. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like perhaps you have to apologize like to someone who's not even alive. This is tricky. And, and I wanna give that specific message to someone who's like in their last of their trials, maybe with yourself or actually court trials. I did on my own look up the justice card. I did on my own and now we're here. But this person, like, I feel like someone is actually like, hmm. So I feel like someone, let me just calm down. I don't want to say it.
but she was different. I feel like someone is in their last trials and there is an ancestor who's like upset with you. I think you're going to do some sort of time. This message is very specific. I just need to get it out. I don't know if this is for everyone. Stick with me. Stick with me. But someone's about to do time. And what I mean, that's a phrase in the States. I mean that you are going to a correctional facility, a penitentiary, a prison. And I think you have to apologize for like all of your behaviors. I also think that perhaps you allow someone to invest in you knowing that you didn't have their interest in order. I wanted to pull a reading in sequential order. It's interesting. So let me start reading it that way as well. Thank you. I appreciate the guidance. Okay. So it's like you, someone pulled up on you or you pulled up on someone and they were like, yeah, real slimy vibes. Like, yeah, like eating the banana and belly, like slimy, disgusting vibes. Like, yeah. Like either someone pulled up on you like that or you know that you like were looking at a relationship, a choice. Forget the relationship. It could be a lover, but a choice. And you knew that you were gonna benefit, but you were going to be slimy or someone was intentionally being slimy to you even though they were gonna benefit from the choice that they were making. I think behind all of this is a Scorpio a cancer or a Pisces, heavy on cancer. This card is ruled by cancer. Queen of Cups. Could be a mother because it's cancer energy. Could be a grandmother. Could be the ancestor you need to apologize to. Could be an aunt. Could be a godmother. Could be a teacher. It's like a powerful maternal energy. the moon now for everyone else let's pivot at 10 37 on the clock one and three is four four and seven eleven there we go justice card moving on because the rest of the people need a reading whoever needed that reading you're welcome but for everyone else you're gonna get your justice and get a reading as well so i'm gonna clear these cards how about that <laughs> that felt good and you know prayers up to that person okay everyone else is to do justice let's look at a reading in sequential order and tell a story there we go okay the hierophant we're back in our vibration taurus energy the six of wands Venus and Aries is the Six of Wands card. The Ace of Wands, okay. Fourth card out, the Knight of Cups. That Knight is separate from the cup in this deck. Feel free to pause to look at the cards. It said pull from the bottom. Last card in the sequential message, the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, foundational energy. The foundational energy, what's underneath it all, bottom of the deck, the Ace of Pentacles. So we have the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands, and we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Knight of Cups, but no Ace of Cups right now. Let's see, what is the overarching purpose of this story? This middle card, where I almost dropped it. Okay, I hear you. Interesting, the Three of Pentacles. That card is from the last reading. That same card. Hmm.
Okay. The purpose is for you to be intentional with the people that you collaborate with. This is a card of notoriety too. So like you and your people will receive attention from the intention, but there's no tension. Ooh, I'm the best rapper alive. There's no tension though, but you receive attention from the intention that you put in when deciding who you want to work with. It's looking like marriage, and I keep saying this, or institutional contracts. These are the cards once again. That's what it's looking like to me. So first, it seems like because of the intention that you're setting with this choice of who you want to work with, or maybe you switch jobs. You just, you're buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. You buzzing, buzzing. Okay, let's translate everything that I just said. I just said, cousin, you're blowing up. Cousin, you're blowing up. Like, honestly. You know what's funny about me saying buzzing and then the word cousin? It's like people who really rock with you are going to be like, you did that. You absolutely did it. Those are the vibrations. Whatever you connect to, whether it be Google, whether it be a partner, this is esteemed. There's a great word. This is esteemed. And it looks like you're getting a blessing. So then everybody sees you on your horse, you shining. Maybe if you don't have a car, you're getting a car. If you have a car, you're getting it cleaned. Maybe new rims, you're shining. People can see you. With the Ace of Wands, it's also like they can, hmm, they can see you. I hope you heard the way those sentences were totally different. It's almost like, wow, like they're inspired. They're inspired by your win. Again, notoriety. And then it's like you have <clears throat> passion on the way and money on the way. Both nights are here passion on the way and money on the way heavy on the money on the way because underneath it all you have the ace of pentacles this is you know are we hearing the story this is like the next chapter this is just the order so now we're getting more technical about the message now it's process and sequence the last reading same message i would argue was more climatic like just talking about the climax of the story not just but really addressing that this is like how it's how it plays out and then overarching it like i said because of this new offer this new beginning this is like an egg the ace of pentacles an investment that someone gives you or you invest somewhere because of the new door the new portal as you're walking into the church to find, to find I said to the last person, I hope you're still listening. It really felt like it was for a person, a couple people, but I did say baptize again. So it's like you're coming into the church to find. Hmm, we're gonna pull some cards. I really like this. It's like someone's finding their purpose. There you go. And because of that, people are inspired. It's actually quite simple. Clarifying the hierophant. Know this, know this inward, do not. I dropped the inward in class this week because I don't care. I don't care about that. I'm talking about colonialism and abuse towards Native Americans. 
who are largely misnamed in words. So I dropped it in class, it was appropriate. We're gonna listen to other people say it on the radio and it's inappropriate. You're gonna listen to your teacher. Back to the higher offense as I teach. This card is back, right? The card of apologies. You can be getting a new offer from your job. And with that is that they have to apologize to you. Or you can be getting a new offer. Let me see. I think it's your job. But you could be getting a new offer from a person with an apology, you know, when the past and the present are able to reconcile and reconnect. And realize that they've grown so they're like not even the same people okay this is fine to my listeners i believe that you have an opportunity let's see this knight of cups with the cups separate i knew it with the three of swords i knew it i didn't want to talk bad about the knight of cups but me even saying that the cup is separate from the person who's driving the horse like come on we got to talk about it three of swords this this lack of heart offer this lack of passion allowed you to to notice it that's number one and then to immediately heal from it that's not what i want to say because you notice the lack of passion you just realize that you needed passion in your life And that's why you're creating it. I had to see the three of swords to understand why I said passion is on the way. Oh, it's because you didn't have passion. There's the relationship. A siren tried to attack your ship with her dirty little whistles. You didn't know what to do. So you were like, oh, I don't have passion in my life. Let's fix this. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, what's on the way, the tower card. Um, let's look at this tower card. It looks like perhaps extreme weather is acting on it. Perhaps an extremely upset ghost. It's coming back up. With the Ace of Pentacles, it's like, there's so much change on the way that the only thing that could come from the change is possibility. Aquarius energy, Scorpio energy here, both. We're in Aquarius season. Yeah, it's like so much change comes. The tower's falling down. So the only thing that also comes with a fallen tower is the new contractors and the construction work and the architect so that you can build a new tower. So inevitably, there's a new opportunity. The strength card. Watch the justice card come out, watch it. The strength card is clarifying. The six of wands, fire on top of fire, Aries energy, Leo energy. I mean, that's what I'm saying, like they can see you. The Leo is the star of the show, we all know that. Front if you want to. The Leo is the star of your friendship group. What are we talking about? <laughs> the Leo, you're gonna have all eyes on you. And I also feel like perhaps if you're someone who's like, oh my God, that sounds terrible. Ew. If you're that person, I feel like you are going to be able to manage it. Let's read strength because we read, read the justice card, right? And it mentioned strength. Let's read the strength card. The spirit of courage. True courage cannot be seen. Strength lies not in appearance or in its use, but in the awareness of one's own value self-esteem there's that word and silent courage are more useful than 1000 battle cries yeah that's the thing like i don't think you want to be seen i, I even just referenced it right but you're gonna be seen now how you use being seen it mentioned that you know be a good person don't be a douche all right 
overarching notoriety. It's coming out as notoriety now. I mean, yeah, you're just gonna have to listen. It's. I feel like you're trying to. <laughs> ooh, I feel like you're trying to not be famous. You about to be famous to others around you, and I'm not talking about silly fame. I'm not talking about that. So retarded. And I mean that with love, because by retarded, I mean slow in development. I really do mean it in a technical way. It's it's technically retarded and you're processing slow in development for you to think that I'm talking about the fame that the noise promotes. That's not what I mean. You're going to be known like notoriety and and you just have to aquarius season the hangman just let it go just go ahead and give in to it you're going to be known i do not mean this kind of noisy twerking selling drugs i don't mean that at all at all in fact i mean you're going to be known for finding your purpose oh my god This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Like, I'm into it for real. I love it. I, I'm thrilled to tell you that when you get this offer, I'm not gonna front like I don't see the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups here and the Three of Swords, three, three, three. I did reference multiples of three in the last reading, three, three, three. So the Three of Cups is on top of the Knight of Pentacles. Listen. Your team, can you imagine that they support you? <laughs> and I don't mean support you and then talk about you. I don't mean support you and then get on the phone and feel a way about you. Can you imagine that your team in the future, in the very near future to my listeners are about to support you? Support you. The Ace of Wands is the Two of Wands. Um, hmm. I just got clarity from one of my favorite teachers on what the Two of Wands means because I made it very experiential which it is it does talk about like anxiety and one's experience but it's about the will to keep going which anxiety is about right it's interesting but to continue on the path and I read this card as you're gonna be seen and then look at his face glowing right not only is the horse glowing Horse and carriage is fire. Like, honestly, not only is the horse glowing, but my whole my whole crown chakra, as we reference Corona some breathings ago, my whole crown chakra on it. 2640 on the timer. 2684123333. Let's um look at your three three threes wherever you see them. Just look around. Maybe take a breath. Maybe sip your coffee with intention. And make sure you're receptive to this communication. Three is about communication. Three is connected to Gemini energy. In the tarot, the three is connected to the Empress. Ooh, let's keep talking about it. King of Swords at the bottom. And then I see a five. I see the five of cups. Yeah, it's like, okay, you got, <laughs> all right. This brought me hardship. Okay, this made me cry. All right, sayonara. And now you're thinking logically. And you can communicate logically. And I feel like I'm in prayer. So let's end it in this form, actually. It feels pretty done. It was 2759 on the clock. 279, 5, 
14, 11, 9, 23, 5. Yep. 